Hi and welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee, and this is a quick deck unboxing of um, Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini, um, published by US Games. I bought this from Amazon Warehouse, so it's not perfect. It is, and it actually came squished. So um, they packed it in one of those thin cardboard envelope ones rather than a box. But um, so it has got a bit of a tear here, but I've wanted this deck for so long. And I, like I said, I paid warehouse, so I'm not sure where I stand at uh, getting things back. But there you go. <laughs> so we have the little white book, um, which by the look of it, opens up quite significantly. So we have the introduction there, the major arcana with its keywords and reverse meanings. Uh, then we go into rods for wands swords court names are page knight queen king into the cups and then we flip it over halfway through the cups and then we go into the pentacles the ancient celtic method of divination so we're doing a celtic cross basically i actually use a, tw a play on the, the celtic cross when i do my readings and then obviously the details are there usgames.com so let's have a look at the Aquarian Tarot. So, and I, this is one of the reasons I wanted it was this gorgeous royal blue design on the back. It's stunning. If I could get that as wallpaper, I'd be a very happy person. Uh, there's a bit there about uh, David Palladini. And again, that gorgeous back design. And then we move on to the cards themselves. So we have the Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess. I love the 70s artwork, the Empress. There's something David Bowie about that though. The Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death. I like the faint skull imagery on it. Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the Star, the Moon, the Sun, Judgment, and the World. Then we go into the Ace of Rods, the Two, Three, Four, Five, Six, Seven, eight nine and ten the page the knight the queen and the king these look like little matchsticks even though they're in obviously a lily they they still look like little matchsticks and i kind of like that uh ace of swords the two the three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and the ten. The page, the knight, the queen, and the king. Then we have the ace of cups. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and the ten. Then we have the page with that luscious little fish coming out of the cup. The knight, the queen, and the king. And then we have pentacles with the ace, the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and the ten and then we have the page the knight the queen and the king now they are traditional tarot size they feel really nice even though they're kind of normal cardstock they feel smooth and shiny and yet silky at the same time which is bizarre obviously uh, I mean, obviously, these were created originally in, in 1970. This is not a 1970s deck. It appears to be from 2016. Um, but it's a popular deck. 
um, as is Mo like Morgan Greer, all those hoi polloi, all the nice, gorgeous 1970s deck. These would wash quite easily if you were doing a, a wash with the cards. Um, and hand over shuffling, it's really easy, really beautiful. All the cards feel individual. You can pull one off quite easily. And they just, as you can see, they just want to jump and play. But they do feel really nice in my hands. They're a decent cardstock weight. Yeah, you bend them. They do give a little bit. But considering you've paid under £20 for this deck, it's really not that bad. So, there you go. That is the Aquarian Tarot by David Pallini. Uh, Pal Palladini. Palladini, sorry. Um, I love it. I love the retroness of it. Um, it's slightly in between right away Smith and Thoth. I really like it with that 70s twist. <clears throat> slightly paler than the, the packaging would it would appear that it would look colour-wise, but I don't mind. I love me a watercolour. Um, but it's beautiful. Anyway, if you have any questions, as always, please let me know down below. Um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.